Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about using getters and setters in C Sharp. Now a getter and a setter are basically two types of methods that we can define inside of our C Sharp classes, which will essentially control the access that people have to the attributes of those classes. And essentially what this does is it kind of like makes your classes more secure. So it, it kind of allows you to define like um, what data is valid for specific attributes and what data isn't valid. And really getters and setters um, are extremely useful. And there's a lot of different scenarios where you want to use them. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys one specific scenario. We're going to talk about like how to set these up and essentially just how they work. So what I've done in preparation for this tutorial is I actually created another class. It's this movie class over here. And this movie class is very simple. It's basically just modeling a movie inside of our program. So this is sort of like, you know, the template for the movie data type. And I had said that every movie is going to have a title, a director and a rating. And then down here, I created this constructor where I basically passed in a title, a director and a rating, and I assigned all of those values. So this is a very simple class. And you know, like I said, it's just modeling a basic movie. And then over here in my program, I created two movies. So I have one called Avengers and it's just the Avengers with director Joss Whedon and it's PG 13. And then we have Shrek with director Adam Adamson and it's rated PG. So pretty simple program, right? We're basically just creating a couple different movies, but here's one of the problems that we actually have with this program. And it might not be super obvious right away, but the problem has to do with the movie rating, right? Now, generally when movies have ratings, they can only have specific ratings, right? So if we have a movie, like generally it's only going to be able to be G, PG, PG 13, R or NR, right? And maybe there's some more ratings, whatever, but let's just say that these are all the valid ratings that we can have for a movie. So a movie can either be rated G, PG, PG 13, R or NR for not rated. And let's say that we want to enforce these rules inside of this movie class. So we want, all the movies in our programs to only be able to have one of these ratings and it can't have a rating other than the ones that I specified down here, right? Well, the problem is how do we enforce something like that, right? Because what I could do is I could easily come over here and change the rating of Avengers to dog, for example. And now if I was to come down here and print out the Avengers rating, for example, if I came down here and said console dot right line, Avengers.rating, when I print this out, it's actually going to print out the rating. So it's going to be able to print out dog. So dog was the rating that we gave to it, but dog isn't one of the valid ratings down here. Another thing I could do is even if I set this to PG 13 over here, so if this was like set to PG 13, I could still come over here and manually set it. So I could still say like Avengers.rating is equal to, you know, dog over here. And it's gonna be the same scenario, right? I'm still able to set this value equal to dog. So what I wanna show you guys is how we can prevent this from happening. In other words, how can we make it so that the only possible ratings for the movies are one of these um, five ratings that I defined down here. And we can actually use something called getters and setters. And in order to use these getters and setters, we're gonna to have to modify a couple things. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna close off access to this rating property, this rating attribute. And what I can do is I can actually come over here into my program and you'll see that all of these attributes are public. So we have public title, public director, and public rating. And I haven't really talked about this too much yet, but public essentially means that these can be accessed by anyone. So any other program, any other code that we're dealing with can access any of these attributes. So public just means it's open to everybody, it's open to the world. But there's actually another modifier that we can put in front of here. And instead of saying public, I could say private. And what this means when I say private, this means that only code inside of this movie class is gonna be able to access the rating. So only code that is contained inside of these curly brackets over here in this side of this movie class is going to be able to access this. And you'll see now when I go over to program, I'm getting an error down here. So essentially what this is saying is we can't access the rating because it's private. So because the code over here is inside of the program class and it's not inside of the movie class, it's not going to be able to access the rating. So 
that's the first step in being able to enforce these ratings is we need to make the rating field private. So I need to cut off access from anybody else. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to create two things called getters and setters. So we're going to create getters and setters for this rating attribute. And basically what these are going to allow us to do is it's going to allow outside code. For example, the code inside of this program class, like down here, it's going to allow code like this to both access the rating and modify and set the rating. So those getters and setters are going to be really important. And we can define those through what are called properties. And a property is basically just like, it's kind of like a little method, but it's a special method that's going to um, basically allow us to define a getter and setter. So what I want to do is I can just say public and I can just say string. And what I want to do is name this. Um, generally, what you're going to do is you're going to name it the same as the attribute over here, but in capital letters. So I'll name this public string rating. And then down here, I'm going to make an open and close curly bracket. And inside of here, I need to define two things or I don't need to, but I'm going to define two things. So I can just say get and I'm going to make an open and close curly bracket. And then I'm going to say set and I'm going to make an open and close curly bracket. And these are essentially going to be getters and setters. So a getter is going to allow us to get the rating attribute. You'll notice over here, I'm trying to get this rating attribute by saying Avengers.rating, but I'm not able to do it, right? I can't actually access this rating because it's private. And so the job of the getter is to give me that. So I'm just going to come over here and inside this get, we're just going to say return rating and I'm going to put a semicolon there. And so basically whenever we say rating now and we want to get it, it's going to return the rating. Now this setter is going to allow us to set the rating. So it's going to allow me to modify the rating. So if I came over here and said, Avengers dot rating and you can already see it's trying to make me use this capital letter is equal to dog. It's going to yell at me because this is a private attribute. So it's not going to let me do that. And that's what the that's the point of this setter. The setter is basically going to allow me to do that. So what I can do in this setter, though, is I can define a specific rule. So I can basically say like, hey, you can only set this value to be a certain value. And so what I want to do is I want to check to see if the value is one of the valid ratings. And if it is, if the value they're trying to set rating to is one of the valid ratings, then we're going to go ahead and set it. Otherwise, we're just going to do something else. So I want to say if and I want to check to see if the value that they passed in, in other words, the value that they're trying to set to rating is equal to one of the valid ratings. So what we can actually do is we can say if value and value is going to represent whatever got passed in. So value is going to represent whatever they're trying to set the rating to. So I can say if value is equal to and we're just going to do one for all of these. So if the value is equal to G or value is equal to PG and I'm going to do this one for each of the valid ratings. So I can just say or value is equal to and over here we can just put PG 13. So I'm going to say PG 13. And we're just going to do two more. So value is equal to R. And then the last one is going to be for NR. So then over here, I'll say or value is equal to NR. So if it's equal to one of these, in other words, if the value that we pass in is equal to one of these, then we're going to be able to just set that as the rating. So I can just say rating is equal to value. Otherwise, though, I'm just going to set the rating equal to NR. So I'm just going to say rating is equal to NR. So if they add in an invalid rating, in other words, if they add in a rating, if they try to set this to a rating that's not G, PG, PG 13, R or NR, then it's just going to get set to not rated by default. So this getter is going to allow us to get the rating and this setter is going to allow us to set the rating. But you'll notice that in order to set the rating, we have to go through this if statement, right? And so they can try to pass in whatever rating they want. But if it's not equal to G, PG, PG 13, etc., then it's just going to get set equal to not rating. And the reason we needed these getters and setters was because we made this guy up here private. So there's one more thing we have to do in order to make this super secure. In other words, there's one more thing that we have to do to make sure that 
the rating is only set to one of these values. Up here in my constructor, when I set the rating, right here I'm just assigning it a normal value. So technically the user could pass in whatever rating they wanted over here, and then I'm just gonna set it to the rating. But now instead I'm just gonna say rating is equal to a rating. And what this means is now we're gonna set the rating through this setter down here. When I use this capital R, it's essentially calling this setter down here and setting it that way. So now this is completely secure. And down here, what I can do now is I can set this to whatever I want and it's gonna be safe. So down here I can say Avengers.rating, so I'm using this capital R now. And over here, if I wanted, I could pass in an invalid rating. So I could pass in like dog over here. And when I print it out, you'll see that we're gonna get NR. So we're not gonna get dog, we're actually gonna get NR. And that's because we had to go through that setter. And the same goes for anything else. So I could say down here like Shrek.rating is equal to cat. And if we tried to print out Shrek.rating, then we're gonna get NR because it's gonna get filtered out by that setter. But here's the thing, if I wanted to set this to a valid rating, like if I set Shrek.rating equal to R, now it's gonna be able to take that rating because it's valid. So that's kind of how we can use getters and setters. And a lot of times what people will do is they'll create getters and setters for each of the um, attributes inside of their classes. You don't have to, but a lot of times it can be useful. So what you wanna do is just play around with that. And you know, basically these just make your class more secure. So they make it so someone couldn't, for example, give your movie an invalid rating. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.